Let's get to it. Hello everyone, this is Amy Milan and you are watching Life with Ames. And today's video is going to be a Sunsi. Um today is going to be my BBMB uh for sniffs. Alright guys, so we have a lot to go through. I think there's like 25 in here. So I'm gonna start sniffing. Alright guys, first one is, ooh I remember this one, is Simply Vanilla. I remember this scent. This was actually out when I first became a consultant about almost two years ago. And uh, this was a good one. <sighs> you guys, it just smells like vanilla. Let me take this out. Uh, I can't take it out. Okay. So yeah, it just smells like straight vanilla. Like you open up vanilla extract or open up a vanilla bean and this is what you get. So if you're into like the pastry vanilla essence, vanilla, simply vanilla. Next scent is, ooh, sticking with vanilla, Lux Vanilla. Let's smell this. I think I smelled this before, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, okay. Kind of smells like soap, but it's not like... But it's like a clean soap. Oh my god, why are these stuck to these? I can't even take it out. I'm trying to take them out of here, but I feel like stuck in there. I always feel like I can get a better sense, sense of the smell when I take smell it from the bottom. Oh, yes. You know what? I think I did smell this before. I think this was in a BBMB before. This smells really good. Very clean, very uh, like soapy, but fresh. Um, it smells like it would be something that would be perfect for the bathroom to give it that clean, soapy, clean smell. Mmm, I'm definitely getting more of that. Lux Vanilla. This is gorgeous. I don't smell much vanilla. It's more like a soapy scent to me. Very clean and soapy, so. Next one is... Give Me Passion Flower. Now, I'm excited about this because it feels like it would be a very summery scent. Oh my god. Ooh, this is very similar to Blue Grotto. Oh yes, very tropically. I do smell like um, citrus in it, but very similar to uh, Blue Grotto. I do smell the passion fruit, or what it is, but I, this is like, this is like Blue Grotto's little sister. Give me passion flower. Mm -hmm. Summer scent. Next one is Spiced Pear. Now, I'm always excited about pear scents, and uh, I love spice stuff, so... Mmm, I love it. Okay, I definitely smell pear, and there is a bit of that spice in it. Um, this does smell like, you know like those pear desserts that you get with like a pear flambe with ice cream? So it's got like pear and cinnamon on it. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it would be a strong performer, but I've been surprised lately with the scents that I have been warming lately, so it just may be warm. Ooh, I'm loving this. This would pair very... Hello! This would pair very nicely with Jumpin' Jelly Bean, which was in the BBMB last time. Oh my god, that would be amazing. So yes, spiced pear. Next scent is tomato vine. Okay, guys. I have been hearing so much about this scent. It's like a love it or hate it scent. Some people say they love it. Some people say they hate it. I don't know. I feel like it's like Marmite. Either you love it or you hate it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like it. It reminds me of caterpillars for some reason. Oh god. Uh, yeah, okay. So when I was little, my dad had all kinds of tomatoes growing in the backyard. And the only thing I would smell is the leaves, the tomato vines that these tomatoes were growing from. And every time I smelled that smell, I would just see a green caterpillar. So that's whatever I see every time... See, I'm just passing this through my nose, and all I see are caterpillars, because that scent is just going everywhere. It smells like a straight tomato vine. If you guys love that smell, if you're into gardening and all that stuff, and just love the outdoors and the smell of tomato vines, God, my, my fingers smell like it, um, you will love this. But um, for me, I just have visions of caterpillars, so I don't know, I might get out. I feel like just creepy and crawly, and all I see are, is a green caterpillar with brown, black eyes looking at me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to warm it. I'm not going to hate. I'm going to give it a chance and see. Maybe it'll smell different when I warm it. <sighs> but yeah, if I have nightmares of caterpillars, I'm blaming this. So yeah, this is tomato vine. Oh my god, I smell that. <laughs> okay, next one is root beer barrel. Okay. Oh my god. Hi, can I drink you? Wow. 
This smells like straight up root beer. It smells like straight root beer, like freshly poured. The fizz popping all up in your face. You just hear the sound. This smells like, uh, yeah, just root beer. So if you guys love that root beer scent, I think this would be fun for the kids' room because um, it's got that playful kind of scent. But if you're into the root beer smell, if you love the smell of root beer, this is your this is your thing, you know? Root beer barrel. Okay, next one is Huckleberry Sage. Okay, I believe I smelled this before. Ugh, see, the tomato vine is like stuck on my hand. Get out of there. Oh, and I love the contrast of the purple and the mint green. How pretty is that? And I just broke the bar just trying to get it out. Come on, get out. Oh, it's a boy. Okay, so I totally broke it. Hi. But, oh. Okay. I don't really smell much. I do smell the huckleberry, though. But it's not strong at all. It's very light. I feel like it's going to be a very light scent. It smells like a huckleberry. But yeah, it's going to be a very light scent. This one is okay for me. But I'm going to warm it because I broke it. So yeah, I'll give you another view on that later. So huckleberry sage. I don't smell sage. Maybe that's why it's so light. I don't know. But yeah, I smell huckleberry. I need to wash my hands. Okay, I wash my hands. I can still kind of smell it, but... <sighs> Tomato vine is not that bad. Really, it's not. But um, it's just not my cup of tea. Excellent. Winter candy apple. I feel like this would be a good fall scent. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm all about apple scents. I love Macintosh apple scents, green apple scents, anything apple, spiced apples, apple cider, anything apple. This smells like a green candied apple. That's exactly what it smells like. Oh, this smells so good. Let me switch hands. Oh yeah. A is for apple and Johnny Appleseed together makes this little baby here so yeah if you guys love that or those two you will love it it's a sweet candy smell just think of a green caramel apple it's exactly what it smells like i'm gonna buy more i love you winter candy apple next scent is flirtatious okay for some reason i feel like it's gonna smell very similar to pink haze and it doesn't <laughs> mm, okay this smells like something i have smelled before Okay, I definitely smell rose. I think that's what it is. Okay, that's what it is. So right now I'm using like the rose ivy something from Bath and Body Works. The hand soap. And this is what it smells like. It smells like a rose scent. It's not a strong rose scent. It's a very toned down rose scent. Maybe it's got the ivy in it too. I don't know. But I definitely smell rose. I don't think this is going to be a strong performer as well. I believe that it's going to be a light performer. So this would be good for the bedroom if you don't want anything too strong. But if you want something like very um, delicate and soft, you know, just calming, this would be a great smell. I definitely smell the rose. So, so hopefully it'll be stronger when it's um, warmed. Mmm, I like it. Flirtatious. Yay! Next scent is coffee tree. I bet she's gonna be like coffee. Coffee. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting all excited. Coffee candy? That's what it smells like. It smells like this coffee candy that I used to eat. I don't know the name, but um, yeah, that's what it smells like. Coffee candy. Ugh, is it Werther's? No, it's the C's candy. The ch uh, coffee. Um, Seas candy coffee, like suckers. Mmm, I want to eat you, but it smells really good. If you guys love that coffee scent, it doesn't smell like um, the one that just came out um, fall winter, the coffee one. But um, it's not as strong and dark as that. It's a more sweet coffee scent. So just think of the Seas candy coffee suckers. Yeah. It smells just like that. Oh my god, it smells good. I'm gonna love warming this. Okay, I'm excited. Next one is Cutie Pie Cupcake. Okay, pastry lovers, this is probably your thing. Ooh, I smell it already. Oh my god. Oh, it smells like a just baked cupcake. I just took this out of the oven before icing it. That's what I smell. A freshly baked cupcake. I just want to put frosting on it. But yeah. 
freshly baked cuff cake for all you pastry lovers and pastry scented lovers you will love this cutie pie cupcake it smells like yellow sponge cake cupcake just out of the oven exactly next one is cherry almond pie okay kind of nervous about this I'm not very much of an almond scent person or cherry yeah, it smells like a cherry pie with almond toppings. I do smell the cherry. It does give it that sweetness. Um, I do like that, but the almond, I don't know, the almond is kind of like, yeah. It smells good. Um, it's not something that I would really <clears throat> warm, but it is good for like, if you're a pastry lover, I think um, you would like this as well. Um, it does give a little bit of hint of the cherry, but I think it'd be more of like the pastry vibe going on if, if you were to warm this. So yeah. Cherry almond pie. Cherry almond pie. Next one. Ooh, Cambridge. Okay, so I think this one came out as well. <clears throat> the last BBMB. Did it? I don't remember. Or I remember like this was a scent of the month one year. Or one month. And like once it was gone, like I, like when I became a consultant, that's what everybody looked for was Cambridge. So I was like, I need to smell this. So oh, it's a masculine scent. This reminds me of being in England. Call me crazy, but oh my god, this smells like, like in, I'm in England for some reason. Maybe that's why it's called Cambridge. I don't know, maybe it's Cambridge, Massachusetts. This gives me like the feels of like the stores or like the cologne that the men would wear over there in England. Or just like going shopping in the stores. This is the smell that I would get walking into the stores or like the smell of like their beauty products. For some reason, this makes me think of England. Mm, I like it. I actually really like this. I'm not a masculine scent type person, but maybe because it reminds me of England, I actually really, really like this scent. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to warm this. Now I know why people were looking for it. It's a great smell. It's not very masculine. It does have a little sweetness to it. I don't know. I like Cambridge. Yeah! Next one, Maui Mist. Okay, I'm kind of excited about this because anything Hawaiian themed, I'm all about that life. Oh my god, I definitely smell like I'm in Maui. I definitely get the feeling of being in Maui. Oh, I smell the coconut. I smell the plumeria flower. It's just a great like combination. And it gives you that feeling of being in Maui. It's the exact feeling I feel when I'm in Hawaii or Maui or whatever. Oh god, it just makes me feel like I'm walking down the beach. I see all these people with like their coconut scented like sunscreen. Smelling like the sea air and the flowers all around me. Oh, I'm going to order like buttloads of these. This is amazing. And I used to hate the smell of coconut, but for some reason I've just been loving it. And I guess maybe the summer season, maybe because I'm getting older, I don't know, or just the feeling it gives me. But yeah, I am freaking loving this Maui Mist. Oh my God, I love you. Okay, love it. Next scent is My Only Sunshine. Now I've heard good things about this. I'm excited. Ooh, I like. Oh, it's a bright. It's a bright scent, definitely. My only sunshine. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna look it up. I need to know what is in here. Got it. That's what it is. It's the chat. Ja There's jasmine, amber, vanilla, sandalwood. Oh god, that's what it is. Oh my god, it smells so good. Now I smell more of the amber and the jasmine. You're into the scent, um, Amazon Rain. I think you'll like this. Um, it's not as sweet as M Amazon Rain, but it's got that same kind of fresh scented scent. I love it. It smells good. So yeah, my only sunshine. Next one is Cottage Garden. Okay, I think it's like another grassy scent. Oh, oh my god, I love you. Oh, this smells like gardenias, but not so strong. Like it smells of, like a fresh bouquet of gardenias. Like. Oh my god, like you literally you're walking out of your cottage and you're walking to your garden you just smell like that bed of flowers just outside. Oh, this is and it's not as strong as like those floral scents, so I feel like when you warm it, it's not gonna be as strong. Like no lie, there's some scents, like floral scents that I do warm. My eyes do get watery because like I guess just too much of that flower power going on. But I feel like this is not gonna do that. So yeah, oh gardenias. This is Cottage Garden. Next one is Spice Grapefruit. Okay, I'm excited about this. Oh, I like it. Okay, you guys, do you guys remember the scent um, Spring Forward? Very similar to this. This is very nice. It definitely smells like grapefruit. Um, 
not more of the sweet one, but yes, more of a spiced grapefruit. I love this. This is a great, like, uplifting scent. My friend said that I would like this, and oh, I love it. Oh, my God. It is similar to Mandarin Moon. She's right. Like, it does have that spice to it, but the fruity citrus smell back behind it, but more grapefruit than orange for Mandarin Moon. So, oh, yes. Definitely love, love you. Love, 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 love. Spiced grapefruit. And I feel like this would be a good transition scent going into fall as well, from summer to fall. So, yeah, spiced grapefruit. Next one. Oh, melon and apple granita. I smelled this one before. It was like on clearance one time and then I bought it and I was like, oh, it smells really good. Yeah. Ugh, melon, melon, melon is all I smell and it's a great one. Very similar to Do We or Don't We? Um, but it has more of like the apple undertone to it. So yeah, I like this a lot. Um, if you're into Do We or Don't We, you will love melon and apple granita. I like this. Great summer scent. Next one is pink tulips. Oh, let's show you. Hi. Ooh, I feel like it's going to be a light performer. Yes. Oh my god, it's so precious. Oh, you know, I really like this. This reminds me of one of the Disney bars. Um, a lighter version of the Mulan True to Your Heart scent. Um, ooh, I think I'm going to like this. I think I'm going to warm those two together. Oh, this is very light and delicate and pretty. Oh, so good for like your little princess's room or something like in your daughter's room. Pink tulips. I'm going to buy more of these. Yay! I like that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to warm that with the um, Mulan True to Your Heart. I think it's going to, like, work wonders. Next one, staying with the pink, we've got a Melon Patch. And look at the bottom. It's like the same color as watermelon when you cut it. All I keep thinking of is going to smell like watermelon, and I already smell it. It's like hitting my nose. Ah, oh, straight watermelon. Yes, guys. Ow. Ow. Like, it smells like a, um, a watermelon sucker, actually. Um, not more of like the juicy watermelon, but more of like a candied watermelon. Yeah, it definitely smells like a candied watermelon or something like that. So yeah, watermelon patch. Next one is Wild Black Cherry. Now, as you guys know from the other scent, I'm not really a cherry scent person. Ooh, I smell it. Oh gosh. It smells like black cherry. <laughs> like straight up. Like if you get those candles and it says black cherry, that's exactly what you're going to get. So yeah. Very deep, very like rich in that cherry, black cherry scent. Um, it's very deep and robust, so I feel like it's going to be very um, a strong performer. So yeah, Autumn Sunrise. Now I believe this was out like one fall. Um, yeah, it's a fall scent, so it's very uh, spicy. It's got the fall spice. I do smell. Oh, this reminds me of just October. You know, like that smell that you get. Like the feeling you want to get during fall, like just that spicy scent feeling. I don't know. But it's a little bit of pumpkin to me. You definitely get the spices in there. All the spices that you would want for fall come in this little bar of wax. So yeah, I'm going to actually save this for the transitioning period from summer to winter to fall. So yeah, autumn sunrise. It's a great scent. I'm actually going to order more just for fall, just so that I have enough. Next one is Quiver. This kind of reminds me of French Kiss. The same kind of vibe going on. Very uh, soft scent. Vanilla, definitely, but a not not a strong vanilla. And it has like more of like a calming back to it. There's more of like some like woodsy scents to it. So it's like a vanilla-y... I don't know what else is in it, but yeah. Quiver. My bad. I don't know. It's not striking me, so... Quiver. Salted Caramel Cupcake. Oh god, I smell the caramel already. Oh god, this is such a good scent. This is such a good pastry scent. Oh my god, it's a good fall scent as well. So another good transition scent from summer to fall. Just got the caramel, brings out like the fallness feel, you know. The sweetness This also smells like the cupcake one that I had, that, that I smelled earlier. Oh yes, such a great pastry scent. I actually really love this. Cannot wait to warm this when it starts to get colder. So yeah, salted caramel cupcake, and that's exactly what it smells like. I actually want to buy some cupcakes today because this stuff is making me hungry. Last one is black currant bubbly. Ooh, I'm kind of excited, yes. Ooh, it smells like, yes, it definitely smells like a soda. Like that smell that you get from smelling sodas, you know? Ooh, the black currant, you definitely smell it. It's like a sweet soda scent. I like it. I actually would warm it in like my kids' room again. Um, it's also good for the um, kitchen, I think. 
to give it that sweetness to it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, open up a Sprite, smell it, and that's what you get. And then add some black currant. That's exactly what you smell. The black currant bubbly. That is it for my BBMB uh, first sniffs reaction reveal first impressions. There's a lot of winners here, so I will be ordering some more as soon as I get off my camera and onto my computer. So yes, thank you guys for watching my video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you guys want to see more sense videos done by me, please subscribe to my channel. If you guys want to see what it's like to live as a military wife living overseas in Japan, please also give this channel a like. I do a lot of videos and vlogs um, about my life around here in Japan. I actually have a few videos that I want to post from my trip to Kyoto and Disney Sea. My parents were here, my brother were here visiting. So yeah, I'm going to be posting those videos up later. Thank you guys again for watching. I will see you again next time. Peace!